all new, incredibly successful, and forward-looking. That was 2018 for the Volkswagen brand. Things got kicked off in March 2018 with the new flagship, the Touareg. The third generation of the SUV sets new benchmarks as a luxury sedan with the abilities of an off-roader, as the first vehicle of the brand to have the Innovision cockpit and rear-wheel steering, a milestone. And the Touareg makes the long commute to its own premiere in Beijing. I am more. That's how model and actress Cara Delevingne introduces the T-Cross in Amsterdam. The smallest member of the SUV family is aimed at young and youthful people in urban areas. A special highlight, the legendary GTI meeting at Lake Wörthersee. This is where the Golf GTI TCR celebrates its premiere. With 290 horsepower and a top speed of 264 km per hour, it'll be the fastest GTI of the lineup. In 2018, the Volkswagen brand presented many new models outside of Europe too. Among them the Jetta, the Terramont, and the Virtus, as well as exciting concepts like the Tarok, the Atlas Crossport, and the Atlas Tanoke. Twenty eighteen was an important year for electromobility. In Geneva, Volkswagen presented the car of the future, the ID Vision, a car without steering wheel or pedals. In 2022, the ID Vision will be launched as a fully electric vehicle. Three years later, the sedan will drive fully autonomously. The electric cars will be based on the MEB, the Modular Electric Platform. It'll make electric cars affordable to buyers when the ID family is launched in 2020. At the MEB workshop in Dresden, Volkswagen provides insights into the automotive future. The IDR Pikes Peak is the fastest electric car. Originally, the first fully electric racing car of the Volkswagen brand was supposed to break the record for electric cars at the Pikes Peak hill climb. But driver Romain Dumas raised the stakes and set a new track record as well. Mission accomplished. In 2018, Volkswagen created a new position at its board of directors, appointing Ralf Brandstetter as chief operating officer. And the new board member was able to present positive results. Up until November of 2018, the brand already sold 5.7 million vehicles worldwide. That's 1.2% more than the year before, despite international discussions surrounding punitive tariffs and the conversion to the new WLTP emissions test procedure. Volkswagen makes its transition from car maker to mobility provider. With WeShare, the brand enters the car sharing business. From 2019, the first e-Golfs and e-Ups will hit the road in Berlin. In 2020, the WeShare fleet will be converted to the ID family. A pact for the future. Sales chief Jürgen Stackmann and Matti Perhu, president of the European Dealer Council, signed a contract governing the restructuring of the sales process, starting in 2020. In future, every client will receive a unique ID with the aim of providing seamless individual service beyond vehicle purchase. In the future, Volkswagen will provide its own training program for one of the most important occupation groups today software developers. In its Faculty 73, the Volkswagen Group Academy will qualify hundreds of individuals. Family meetings, a tradition at Volkswagen. The GTI meeting at Lake Wörthersee, as well as the Beatles Sunshine Tour. In September 2018, thousands of fans came to Wolfsburg to celebrate the 20th birthday of the new Beatle, a young classic. The Beatles' final edition could become a collector's item. 
With this special edition, made exclusively for the American market, the automotive icon starts its farewell tour at the Motor Show in Los Angeles. Bye-bye Beetle. Bye-bye 2018.